Welcome to Good Mythical More. We're gonna taste some nasty snacks. It might be something that you love. If so, uh, I'm sorry for taste. offending you. But first, let's give $30 to Nikki for repping that merch out in the wild, hashtag merchicality. You do that, you Nikki. post it, we might find you and we might give you $30. Yes. Thanks for being your mythical best, Nikki. All right, Danny, come on in here. Danny Palum! Oh! oh, that's fun. <laughs> How you guys Palumba. doing? Palumba! Oh! <laughs> wow, you guys look We're good, so man. nice You're together. Good. Look at your outfit. Oh, look yeah. at hey, Look at this. What are you doing later, Palumbo? <laughs> Let's go. What are you guys are doing? Where are we going to? I, I don't know. It's maybe the 7-Eleven. I feel All sick right. already. I don't Ooh. know why I'm doing this. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're doing today. These are some of the worst snacks slash foods we've tasted this month at Sport. I would like you to rank them from worst best to worst worst. Yeah. However, there is one snack on here that actually is a decoy that we think tastes pretty darn good. Oh, so we would like you to kind of suss that one out as well. Mm, you dirty dab. Lots of pressure here. Now, because the thing is, you're yeah. tasting you're tasting stuff that you think is gonna be good so that you can mm -hmm. get people to buy it. That's the point of sport.com is uh, what's the best thing to buy? I don't know where you want us to start, but I'm just gonna give you the stuff to put back over yeah. there. Yeah, okay. Let's start with, uh, this This caught me a lot of flack on TikTok. Cause uh, in the process, you are eating some crap, apparently. Yeah, we are. We absolutely are. Um, and, you know, we tried, I, I should also say that like, you know, it's all edible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Like, it, it, it's, it's food. You it's know? all designed to be eaten. I kind of do believe there is no such thing as a bad meal. Um, but in some cases, there's- But there you're corn trying dog in like, here? Every every product in a category, and then a bunch just don't make the list at all. I think that's something that people don't understand. Is, that's a, that's exactly right. Yeah. What is wrong with this? So that is, I should have explained this first. Uh, that is a field roast corn dog. It's uh, vegan. It's awful. Okie dokie. <laughs> Started off near the bottom. Then, well, what are you guys tasting right now? Not even the... not a corn dog. Uh, it's not even just the dog part that's nasty. Yeah. The cornbread part on the outside. Yeah. Um, it's hurting. And field roast, we've actually had a good experience with field roast before. Absolutely. You know, I don't think I'm spoiling anything by saying that we also thought this one was bad. I mean, that's, <laughs> it's clearly not the decoy. Also, I don't even know if it's a corn dog. Doesn't there need to be a stick on it for it to be a corn dog? Yeah, it's a corn dog that's bite. That's a good point, man. Yeah. That's a good It's a corn point. dog bite. All right. You can get these on the side at cookout. Not you, these, though. No. Are you still eating it? No. I'm trying to figure out why it's so bad. Like, I'm just trying to isolate well, the badness. I love that you just peeled it apart like a science experiment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look how it came apart. Dude. Yeah, it's not great, not yeah. great. Okay, all, all right. right, we're well, saying it's the worst right here. Cause it, we're gonna go worst, worst over here. Worst of the worst, worst not as bad. and then worst, best. Whatever you guys, yeah. whatever language you wanna use. Okay, this is uh, Yo Mama's. Yo Mama. Can you grab a couple of spoons Keto. over there? Oh yeah, I gotcha. We're just gonna Keto. eat straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what is it lacking to be keto? Sugar? Sugar. Yeah. And you need some sugar in your marinara. Eat sugarless sugarless marinara. How do you guys feel about keto diets? God. Oh my gosh, I can't finish the spoon. Yeah. Oh. It's, like, it's like medicine. Really? It's like, it so needs something it doesn't have. <laughs> right. That's exactly right. Uh it, it also doesn't have enough salt. It's so flavorless. Um, it actually has six percent sodium, which is just not enough. Yeah, six uh, percent of your daily value. You want to get at least sixty. <laughs> I mean, but it <laughs> it's it's definitely better than the vegan dogs. I don't, I mean, honestly, they're both so bad that I can't. I couldn't tell you, but this feels like if I just a punishment on somebody. Yeah, you know, like this is a sure. day ruiner. A punishment. Sure. A panish. A, pa a punishment. Pain. That's when a pony brings you a punishment. <laughs> okay. A you ever ridden a pony? No, a pony? Yeah. No. Yeah. How do you get to work? Why do they have to think about that? I uh, absolutely have not well, ridden no, a pony. No, most in my people life. can't remember when they rode ponies because they were oh, before right. memories were made. I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. No horses. No ponies. No horses either, huh? No. You think I should? 
You haven't ridden a horse? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. man, you're you're like, hey, man, you want to live? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah. it took Link until his 40s to ride a horse for the first time. Okay. So, yeah, all right, yeah. I'm and, getting there. And it was awesome, right? Remember, we, we, were, we were there cheering you on. It was so special. Link is so good. I yeah. remember well, that, Linky. I think I figured out what we're doing later. <laughs> oh, we're going ride we're horses. Ride horses. <laughs> <laughs> Ponies. Okay, this is Simple Truth uh, Keto. Cinnamon cereal? flavored uh, grain free cereal. A lot of words. You've wiped this off your uh, off your memory, I think. Yeah. Well it might oh, be good. Like you that. don't know. One of these is good. Listen, can we have the milk? You want some milk? Yeah, sure. I mean I've got milk in my it's kind of sip my and thing. slide, but I you know it's weird to come out of a straw. I should also say I think the decoy is a pretty good decoy. Okay. So you might be on the fence. Okay. Let's read about this. Yeah. You know, yeah, I can. Keto grain free cereal. Mm -hmm. Zero sugar per serving, four net carbs. A lot of protein. 12 grams of protein. That scares me. I'm hearing a lot of crunch. It's too Eddie hard. Rest. Yeah, okay, right, yeah. <laughs> no, like, seriously, like, I think it's taking off my enamel. Yeah, yeah. This, <clears throat> the sound is going to set off some <clears throat> car alarms outside, I think. Why is it so crunchy? Because it doesn't have something that it needs to make it taste good or yeah, not what, be so crunchy. What's it made out of? Whey protein blend. I think human bones. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, so... There's a lot of unsolved mysteries in that bowl of cereal um, right there. It tastes the flavor bad, dude. is it's The bad. flavor is um, not the is not as bad as either of these two things. No. Nope. Let me just say that, but the crunch is... You're right. Frightening. I think it's in a good spot right now. They, they made you. cereal O's out of uh, protein powder is what they did. Oh. You know, you you know them? It's just strange. It's it's got a real fatty. The sort main of ingredient taste. is whey protein blend. I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So it's a wanna... whey protein. So we you can think... move these out of the way. And sure, sure, sure. Use I get bad. There you go. Okay, cool. It, it's it's tolerable. All right. Let's uh let's knock out some soup. This is um, I, this is helping me. I'm glad none of this is flaming hot. Right. Oh, you guys did a bunch of flaming hots yeah. earlier. Where oh, were okay. you? Riding your pony? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is uh, Pacific food. So busy over at Spork, you can't even watch us eat flaming hot. It's just take five minutes. I mean, I eat my own flaming hot stuff. That's right. This is uh, Pacific Foods organic chicken noodle soup. Okay. And look at this little, little bowl here. That's cute. It's like an That's ashtray. That's all mythical kitchen. <laughs> it's like an ashtray. That you got to do something with your ashtrays, you know, nowadays. That tastes eat good, Danny. That okay. doesn't taste bad to me. Okay. All right. I mean, there's not like something about this and I'm like, I mean, typically I'm not, you know, when I get my like, my stock or my, sure, yeah, but... you know, the other stuff, broth, mm -hmm. I typically don't get Pacific foods, but. There's not enough sodium in it. Um, it it does have a. I don't know if I was tasting this next to other chicken noodle soup. 700 so mils. Not, not, not like it, but it's right. way better than all of these. It's, well, you, know, you can't compare it to this, though. This may be the red herring because it's like when you compare it to other soups, it's like. I like where y'all's heads are. Decent. At. Meaning that we're kind of enjoying it. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to. You're asking the right questions. We're going to wait. I'll say all that. We're going to. We're definitely going to put it down here. Basically, it might be the worst chicken noodle soup, but it's better than all this. Whatever goes to the bottom is the is the thing that. Not, doesn't belong at all. So let's just let it take care of itself. Exactly. Palumbo. Okie dokie, this is a uh, Progresso Manhattan clam chowder. Oh, so I'm you gonna want, put uh, this here. New spoons? Yeah, new spoon would be new great. Let's, 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 let's cross let's contamination. That, this is what we're working with. Here. I'm always okay. disappointed when I order clam chowder and they bring the red stuff. I will say that, I like the New England style. Uh, no, this is New England style. Well, this is Manhattan. Oh, Manhattan, yeah, you're right. Okay, sorry, that is what you said. Right. Is that, a is that big anyway? white thing a clam? Okay. I think that might be a potato. This it is, is. It is? Yeah. Well, You're all this over is it. Thanks, man. Heinous. I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> this is heinous. Yeah. This is heinous. It tastes like dog food. When you know what when you know what clam chowder can be. And um, you know what dog food is, <laughs> then you know that this is not good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Um, so it's worse than that. We're definitely is it worse than the cereal. Uh, no. I, the cereal's so crunchy that I just feel like okay. Yeah, I can't move it. All right. We've, we're literally eating things in our ranking order. Did you know that was going to happen? I did. No, I did not know that. Okay. Maybe well, subconsciously. I don't expect you to know. Anything. I didn't plan too hard. The, okay. okay. This is key lime pie. Key lime pie, M and M's. I believe this is a. 
it an, an Easter invention. I well, believe they came I around the spring love years ago. Key lime pie. Yeah, I like M and M's. Great. Hey, I'm with you. You want to do a little porridge? Are they all the same flavor, just different colors? I believe so. Yes. There's a dark red, a light. I mean, <laughs> I'm also colorblind, so there's no red in here. Is, Is that it? not red? <laughs> there's a dark green, a light green, and a. It looks peach. Again, I'm a little colorblind, so I don't. I could be wrong. So I'm gonna eat one of each together and see um, if it like. Okay. I like, how like, I like how you're holding them, everyone. <laughs> sure. Um, you're good at what you do. We're good at what we. That's do. That's absolutely right. I um. I don't hate these. Let me just say that right up top. Uh, they're definitely not as good as key lime pie, and there's a little bit of a fakey lime pl flavor that I think could make Whoops. some people like really hate them. But for me, just because I like the key lime pie flavor, this could be a decoy. I but think it's a decoy. This, these aren't bad at all. But we're, so I'm gonna put them at the bottom, but we ain't done yet. Warheads. Warheads, homie? Pick a flavor. You guys have warheads, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, this is just regular warheads? They're regular warheads. Well, they're, they're extreme sour version. It's too big of a bag. <laughs> I don't that, know why we got this. Is big that what we're judging? <laughs> the size of the, the bag. The bag's too big. Okay. I got an apple one because that's the one that I think I would like the most. I got black cherry. I'm gonna have one too. I'm gonna have uh, watermelon. Ooh. I mean, that's good. A be. lot of people like this. <clears throat> and I kind of do too. Ah. Uh, hmm. Spoiler. You don't. <laughs> you hate them. I don't like warheads. That was the last one. Do you like sour? I do. I don't like sour on the outside. I want sour on the inside. <laughs> oh, wow. There is a there's a hard candy. So this was for a hard candy ranking. And there's a hard candy. I think it's called Perla de Sol or something. It's like an Italian candy. You can get it at Walmart. Pearl they, of the Sol. Perla de Sol or oh. something? <laughs> Oh, like Pearl of the Soul. I don't speak Italian. The I Pearl of Great Price. Yeah. Pearl of Great Price. Okay. And uh, it's got the sourness on the in the middle. It's like a little, oh. little, mm, little sour surprise. Candy. Yeah. But you guys like warheads. Um they are better. It the I the, I like the uh the key lime the, the most. I like the key lime yeah. MMs more than I like the warheads. So I think we should push them all the way to the end. But I put the warheads right next. Okay. To them. Maybe it's just a very divisive thing. Yeah, because uh, to me the warheads are just warheads, man. And it's like you know what you you know what you're signing up for. I feel like it singes my tongue, like it's ruining my palate for the rest. Well, of the day. let me let me oh, tell well, you right now, shoot, dude, you got to watch out for that. So <laughs> you can, super you, sour <laughs> stuff, which is almost exclusively made sour with malic acid. Yeah. Malic acid in large amounts and yeah. also a lot over time damages your enamel. So if you're like a super sour candy person, yeah, you need to talk to your dentist yeah. because you do not get the enamel back once you lose it. Did that happen to you? Yes. Yeah, we okay. ate a super Nine sour <laughs> malic acid bomb <laughs> yeah. on another show. And uh, my Some dentist, sort of publication that makes YouTube videos. And my dentist, and we, and they were like, no one's ever kept it in their mouths nearly as long as you guys did. And we're like, who do you think we are? And then my <laughs> dentist was like, um, what happened to your enamel? Oh, whoa. Like legit was like concerned. And I haven't even been to the dentist. And I started doing, and I had to like change my toothpaste and everything. I'm Yeah. Wow. I didn't go to the dentist. I'm for, over it now. I didn't go to the dentist for ten years one time, and I one went, time I I wait, went. Wait, 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 there's only so many one times in your life when one time is ten years. Yeah. And I, <laughs> I, you know, that one day I went, and my dentist was like, "Hey, you're fine, but don't ever do that again." And I was yeah. like, "All right, yeah. sure don't enough. you ever do that again?" <laughs> okay, you guys were right. Key lime, it. yes, lime it. of course. These are heavily divisive, though. The only person right. in the office that didn't like them was Gwyneth. But me, Najia, Jordan, Justine, we did this for an Easter uh, candy rankings, and we did yeah. it again for an M&M rankings, and like, it's good once every 10 years. I like it, you think so? Yeah. Yeah, I, they're, solid. they're solid, they're um, solid. How do you feel about the rest of our rankings? Oh, pretty good, although, okay, so when you, I mean, you guys were hitting the nail on the head. When you compare this with other chicken noodle soups, yeah. it lacks. Trevor oh, okay. sat in for this taste test, and he said, I believe, uh, it looks brown, and it tastes brown. Uh, I can see that. It's so hard to tell when you don't have yeah, another yeah. thing to compare it it's to. It's lacking um, salt. And so is the, I think Manhattan clam chowder is an abomination. Yeah, yeah. It just it's shouldn't be a thing. It's not a chowder anymore. It, There's got to be cream in it. It should not be a thing. It really shouldn't be a thing, Manhattan. I'm shouting about food again. And then this, um, 
the Simple Truth Keto Cereal. It hurts, man. Yeah, it hurts. There is a pretty decent keto cereal called Catalina Crunch. And it, it is very crunchy, but it brings a really nice, like, cinnamon toast crunch flavor. Catalina Crunch. Sounds like a boxer from the 20s. <laughs> Um, Yo Mamas, uh, yeah, yeah, we also just thought it, there was like a little bit of a sourness there because you can't have sugar in like a, a sauce. I, I think, you know, marinara, pizza sauce, it's all good when it has a little tomato paste in it, which has some sugar. That does not. I mean, so. they should put some Splendor yeah. or something in there, right? <laughs> I mean, there's just like, you got to do something to make it have some sweetness yeah. and there's nothing. They just didn't even do it. I don't know if Splenda's the answer, but... Uh, your your uh, mama sucks so bad okay. that her mm. sauce sucks. That hurts. That's, yeah, right. Oh, she's really gonna feel that. But one. do you agree that the worst of the worst, dude, is yes, inexplicably and, bad? Yeah, and and vegan uh, TikTok kind of came after me a little bit for saying. I these saw that. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they there love are a lot her. of people who vegan like TikTok. Yeah. Who, yeah. Who really like those for some reason? So it's crazy well, that. Well, Field Roast is a is typically a yes. good company. Like we, I don't remember what we had that we preferred Field Roast. You got to put on your vegan goggles, but. I like I like vegan food, but I don't like it when it tries to play by meat's rules. Yeah, like it's tough to corn win that dogs game. and like tough to win that game. Yeah, so uh, no, th I I thought that was far and away the worst. So well, look at us agreeing with Danny Palo. I'm gonna go poop it. Hope it doesn't burn. <laughs> okay. Ever wonder what the stars say you should be drinking? Head to sports.com for a roundup of summer bevs by Zodiac Sign.